Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Ars back here again with another. Okay, I'm sorry. I I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. Um, so you guys already know about this fucking black hole video I dropped, and you know I made a, I just made a video about a couple hours ago talking about what happened at 119. But you guys, I, I don't think you guys genuinely understand how wh when I say that this community pisses me off and why there's a lot of things in this community that I, I don't like. This is the shit that I'm talking about, right? This has to be by far one of my most disliked videos I've ever put out, right? This has one of the worst like to dislike ratios. I had no issues with that. But you you got to <laughs> you got to see the comment section, bro. You you got to understand truly the cancer that has infested this community so thoroughly. Gotta read the comment section. So let's let us let us do a let's do another comment section review like I did in my two hundred sub special. Let's let's do that shit again. Why why not? More content for you guys. Uh so first couple comments are not too bad. You know, typical shit that I expect. Not that deep. Keep on going. Where's the where's the haters? Uh Well, no, hold on. What what is this? Wasn't a black is that all the time more str Do you do you see this egregious head cannon? It wasn't a black hole, but instead it was a thousand times stronger than our black hole. What does what does that even mean? A thousand times we're stronger than what black hole? Our? Who's our? What are you referring to? He Hello? You're not... Do you know why? Because that was concentrated on three of them and controllable by those two universe jokers. That's why all the pressure and weight only focused on them? Okay, but 17 and 18 were both in there with them, so are you telling me that 17 and 18 are Goku level? <laughs> what's what's going on? Like did you did you skip over that? What even listen, listen, here here's the thing. Even if everything you said was accurate, which is not, right? You would still have to prove that 17 and 18 are capable of doing the same feats, which you can't. You can't prove it, which is the reason why your whole argument falls apart before it even starts. But you don't get that, so whatever, man. I believe what you want, I guess. This was an interesting one. Um, the naming fallacy doesn't apply in this situation because the Big Bang attack clearly doesn't have power based on feats and statements, even though... The frickin' pretty black hole doesn't have any fucking feats or anything like that either, right? There's no statements to, to, to back up that this is a black hole. The only thing we said was that, is that this is a mass of gravity. That's it. He didn't say it was a black hole. The, the god of structure from Universe 2 didn't call it a black hole. So what statements are you talking about? The statements where the fucking user said that it was a cage, which is not what black holes are used for, and that light can't escape it, and then a Kamehameha escaped it, which is a beam of light. What are you talking about? You <laughs> like do do people think before they type? Is is your is your desire to protect a franchise that's not paying you that is it that deep? Does it hurt your feelings that bad? C really? Whatever. That's pretty obvious, but a pretty black hole was stated by a to be focused into one point to create a mass of gravity. He still didn't call it a black hole. Okay, your, your point is irrelevant. Thanks. Um, stated that light can't escape from it. I already proved that that's wrong. Um, stated to be controlled attack. You can't control a black hole. A black hole cannot be contained and it cannot be destroyed. Therefore, again, your opinion is fucking irrelevant. Um, so that's why it's not going to destroy the entire stage. Even if it wasn't going to destroy the entire stage, it didn't even suck what it was fucking sinking into. Where? Why do you think that this black hole has to be in this weird limbo where it only applies to 
it only takes some of the fucking characteristics of a real black hole in our reality, but in this reality, it only needs two of those same fucking characteristics to be classified as a black hole. How does that make sense? Mind you, these are the same people that say you can't use reality, right? You can't use the reality to say that this isn't a black hole. You can't use reality. And then they bring up shit from our reality to justify it being a black hole. Do you not see the fucking inconsistency there? Does that not make sense to you? You can't say, in our universe, gra um, black holes are like a mass of gravity, and that black holes suck in light, right? But that's in our reality. You just said you can't take it from reality. So what is it? Can you or can you not? The other problem is you keep saying that it's not a black hole because Goku should be dead. I didn't say that Goku should be dead. Did you even listen to what I was saying or are you just going to create straw mans? I said he should have been undergoing atomization. Do you know what atomization is? It means when you get broke down on a fucking atomic level. That did not happen. He, did, he didn't even appear to be phased by any atomization. Neither did 17 or 18. Again, the thing that people keep avoiding. The, the biggest fucking hole in your entire logic is 17 and 18. That's the biggest hole. The one thing you can't escape. The one thing that you can't get over. The one thing you are not supposed to graze over. The one thing that holds down your entire argument is the one thing you constantly ignore. Hmm, what's that called, guys? I think that's called... Cognitive dissonance. It's like me saying if Goku lifts a mountain, but whatever. That has nothing to do with my fucking argument. When in reality, he can do it all. More headcanon, more assumptions. They went. The writers went out of their way to call it a black. Where did the writers call it a black hole? Outside of the, the nameage of the attack. Where did they call it a black hole? Did we call it a black hole? No. Did Universe 2 God of Destruction call it a black hole? No. Did Beerus call it a black hole? No. Supreme Kai? Nope. Elder Kai? Nope. All these motherfuckers that are millions of years old, none of them niggas call it a black hole. But because the users call it a black hole, it's a black hole. <laughs> Truly infallible logic from fanboys. Give them a round of applause. Truly, truly infallible logic from Goku Black. This is the real Goku Black. He's infallible, man. Truly infallible. Um, oh, this is the this is the this is the pristine comment, pristine comment of a Dragon Ball fanboy. I think it is a black hole because the show tell he is. So shut the fuck up, you hater. Yes, these are real comments that I get. This is, you, you want to know what it's like to be a Dragon Ball YouTuber and go against the grain, go against the fanboys, go against the majority of the community? This is what you deal with. This is real shit. These aren't strong mans that are coming up with these arguments. This is real shit that people say to me, man. Real shit, right? So, let, let's see. This this was a this is another interesting one. All right. So first of all, your nickel diameter is called the Schwarzschild radius. What does this have to do with many of my arguments? So because I didn't call the Schwarzschild radius, what does that mean? I didn't call the Schwarzschild radius. Wow, truly a amazing revelation. Um, second of all, and Goku's perspective was inside the black hole. That's the singularity. No one goes on, knows what's going on inside, so fantasy or fiction might as well be fact in the case. Well, first of all, even though his perspective was inside the black hole, it wasn't just from his perspective as 17 and 18 were inside the black hole with them. Again, notice that you see a fucking trend here. Where they keep glimpsing over 17, 18, having the, would have to have the same feats that fucking Goku has. Or relativistic feats. They keep, they keep brazing over that shit. That's not important in this argument. Mind you, we could see what was happening from the outside, and we could see what was happening from the inside. From the outside, 
the black hole was sinking into the ring. In only one instance did it suck in any sort of mass, which was from 18's Key Blast. Only from 18's Key Blast did we see the black hole grow in size. When it was falling through the ring, even if you say it's controlled, which automatically doesn't make it a black hole, right? It wasn't even sinking in the ring it was sinking into. It wasn't sucking it in. I'm sorry. So what you're telling me is that it has selective sucking properties? It only sucks in key blasts and nothing else. And even the sucking in key blasts is a fucking... It's a fail because Goku fired a key blast from the inside and destroyed it entirely. And black holes can't be destroyed. So... <sighs> Third, if light cannot escape a gravitational pull, it may as well be a black hole. Light did escape, your opinion is fucking irrelevant. Fourth, the black hole used on Goku didn't go through the arena because the material is more dense than the attack used. First of all, the black hole was going through the arena. It wasn't going through it as clean as it should have if it was an actual black hole. But you literally just made a fucking headcanon and just said it was fact. You said the arena's material was more dense than the fucking black hole itself. Which is wrong for multiple reasons. A, you don't understand how black holes work. Right? Black holes can suck in fucking anything. Anything. Right? So, how do you know, in this case, where you're using all this fucking headcanon, how do you know that the fucking material that is in the fucking ring is denser than the black hole itself? Do you have any evidence, a source maybe, or are you just assuming, like all of you do when it comes to making up shit like this? Because mind you, I already went over this in my fucking Seth video, even he said that black holes, right, they can fucking suck in shit and if it has literally less than a couple trillion tons of mass, this is what your boy Seth said, right? He said as um, it's less than a couple trillion tons of mass, it disappears instantaneously. Yet here, it's just sinking into the ring. So what you're telling me is the ring has a mass of a couple trillion tons? How do you know? Genuine questions I'm asking, right? I don't think these are fallacious uh, or some reaches that I'm making. Do you have a source? If not, then all of this is just fucking bullshit. Fit the black hole that size would be less massive than our sun. And I'm 100% sure that Goku can lift something as massive as the sun based on his feats. So, note how again, none of this is based in fact. All of this is assumptions. All of this. He just says, I'm pretty sure it'd be less massive than our sun. You're wrong. You're wrong. Because you don't know what black holes are. You don't understand how they work. Yet you over here with your fucking supreme intellect think you know what you're talking about. I already went over this shit. A black hole with a fucking diameter of a nickel, right, would have would fucking suck in the entire Earth. It'd be more massive than the Earth itself, right? Yet, according to Seth, according to Seth, the radius of this fucking, um, the radius of this attack, this black hole attack, is 839 times greater than that fucking nickel black hole. It would be more massive than our sun at that point. So again... You're wrong. <laughs> this, this, this is un, This is truly unreal, right? As long as the character can move faster than C, or lift more than the specific black hole. What is C? What is C in this scenario? Move faster than a black hole? He didn't even move faster than the black hole. He just he got out of it by firing a Kamehameha. So you're, that's irrelevant. 
and then you said left more than that specific black hole, you don't even know what the gravity input was on that black hole. And he wasn't lifting the black hole. The black hole was weighing him down. So he, in order to get up, he's only lifting his own weight. He's not lifting a black hole. Are you retarded? He's lifting his own weight. Like, when Vegeta changed in the gravity, in the, um, Bulma's gravity machine, like, it says 400 Gs. That means that he's lifting 400 Gs of his own weight. He now weighs 400 times more because 400 times more of Earth's gravity is applying to him. So he's not lifting the black hole. He's not lifting the fucking machine. They're lifting themselves. And how and however much the fucking surface gravity is that they're training under or they're in, that's how much more weight they're fucking um they're lifting of their own weight. Vegeta himself, according to fucking in the manga, Vegeta cannot lift more than a thousand pounds. Right? It doesn't matter if you disagree or I disagree. That's what the writers said. I can't fucking debate with the writers even if I think it's fucking retarded. Even if I can prove that it's the most illogical thing on the planet. And it's directly contradicted by other feasts that he's done in the past. They still said that, so that's the way it is. We cannot change that. So, in conclusion, your entire paragraph is garbage. Good job. Again, remember, th these are real arguments that I heard. If writers say it's a black hole, it's a black hole. Where, where did the writer say it was a black hole? Cite the writer. Who said it? Tell me. Show me the fucking interview. Show me the tweet. I would like to know who said this shit. I will gladly retract everything I said if you can fucking just give me one quote. One fucking quote. Where the, the writers directly stated that this is a black hole. You don't have it, right? Of course you don't, because it doesn't fucking exist. This is great. I love these type of comments. You're a hater. It's fictional anyway. The show said it was a black hole. Yes, and the show also says that um, Vegeta has a Big Bang attack, so it also has as much power as a Big Bang. Yes, continue. Um, light can't escape a black hole, but apparently Goku is so powerful that his Kamehameha wave was able to anyway. Meaning he's more powerful than a black hole. What? What? You just said it's fictional. So why are you bringing fucking reality into fiction, you fucking retard? Explain. Oh wait, you can't. Fanboys don't think. They only utter garbage. They only suck Toriyama's dick. And that's all you can do. Logic doesn't work here. And yet again, you're applying real-life logic to fiction. Either you can do that, or you can't. You can't say that I can't do that, and then do that in your fucking arguments. Why do people like you exist? Why are you so fucking stupid? Jesus, I want to fucking die. Give me bleach, something to wash away the pain, the mental agony, the anguish. Please, <laughs> end it all. <laughs> what type of nerd argues fictional physics? Fictional physics? I was arguing real life physics, which you keep referencing. You're discrediting what the show specifically said was a black hole. They didn't. No other person aside from the fucking users called a black hole. But we'll probably try to justify Superman. I, I found the alpha, the omega, truly a fanboy amongst fanboys. Did, 
Did this nigga just bring up Superman? Did he just bring up Superman in a video that never once mentions Superman? Nope. 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 I'm done. I'm not reading your shit anymore. You're retarded. We're, we're done. Conversation's over. Let's see. You downplayed Dragon Ball Super Black Hole, but not one, one, one punch. <laughs> Excuse me. Was I discussing One Punch Man? Excuse me, did I say that fucking Saitama can survive a black hole? Did I say that Superman can survive a black hole? Did I ever make any of these fucking arguments? No? Then why the fuck are you bringing it up? Why? Why do you fanboys always fucking deflect? You guys are masters of deflection. Masters! I'm a Dragon Ball YouTuber, but now it's my responsibility to debunk feats from other fucking universes that I don't give a shit about. And you, you don't, you don't understand why I'm in a constant state of rage at this community when I have to deal with shit like this. Really? Really? And then this guy tagged Seth the programmer. 13 hours ago. 13 hours ago. When I released a video talking about that same shit way before you pro uh, you posted this comment. Boy, this community is fucking cancer, bro. This community is cancer. None of y'all fuckers give a shit about Dragon Ball. Let's be real. The only thing y'all want is to see more of your light shows week in and week out, right? Week in and week out, that's all you give a shit. Just want to see more light shows, and you want to see have more reasons to worship Goku, because why not? You guys want Goku to be infallible so bad, don't you? I used to be like you. I used to, th I used to fucking when freaking that that death battle shit came out, I was fucking furious about that shit. I was in the comment section, fucking typing away like a true keyboard warrior. Anytime somebody said Saitama was stronger than Goku, I was typing away like a true keyboard warrior. While I was watching fucking One Punch Man, I ruined the, own ex the whole fucking experience for myself because I was literally checking for feats while watching this shit so I could compare it to fucking Goku. I used to be like you. But something happened along the way. You know what it is? I fucking grew up. Why do you care about feats so much? Why does this fucking community care about feats? Not about having a good show. Not one that makes sense. Not one that's coherent. You just want feats. Why are you guys such feat whores? Why does it fucking matter? The same niggas that'll call me fucking nerds, throw around fucking virgin comments, the typical fanboy shit. Y'all the ones over here in my fucking comment section on my video, where I'm very calmly and very simply putting that Goku didn't survive a black hole. Not that he can't survive a black hole, but in this scenario, he didn't survive a black hole. And you're so triggered by this fact that you have to throw nothing but ad homs. You have to make a bunch of fucking, and you have to make a whole bunch of assumptions, a bunch of logical leaps. Why? What's the fucking point? What are you trying to prove? 
What what's gonna happen if Goku can do this shit? If Goku really can survive a black hole, what is it proof? Why wow, you can survive a black hole? Now what? What you think now he can beat Goku? He can beat Superman? He can compete with the top of DC Marvel? Are you really, do you really care about Goku being at the top of the echelon that much? About a fictional character? Really? The only reason why I'm bothering to talk about this shit, this black hole thing in general, is because it's spreading misinformation. And then people take this same misinformation, and they do what they're doing in my fucking comment section. They go to other people's videos, talking all this mad shit. Being a bunch of fucking keyboard warriors. But I bet you won't fucking watch my fucking analysis of Seth's video. I bet when you watch Seth's video and he said, Yep, he survived a black hole. You sapped that shit right up, didn't you? You slurped that shit up. Easy. No difficulty. You didn't even fucking question any of his logic in that video, right? I know, because I looked at the video. Geekdom was in the comment section. Rhyme style was in the comment section. Love that shit. They ate that shit right up. That video has probably like maybe close to 10,000 likes now. Probably still has under 300 dislikes. Because you guys don't give a shit. As long as someone uses critical thinking to prove what you want, no problem. That guy's not a virgin. That guy's not a nerd. Some guy who does this as a hobby says that guy is wrong. He's a nerd. He's a virgin. Who tries to argue fictional physics even though the person that I worship so much is using real life physics for a fictional feat? That's how you sound. That's exactly how you sound. This fucking community is pitiful. To be honest, I don't really consider myself to be a part of it. I'm a fan of Dragon Ball. I watch Dragon Ball. I watch Dragon Ball Z. I continue to watch this shit show that is super. I play Dragon Ball games since fucking Budokai. One, two, three. I bought Tenkaichi. Budokai Tenkaichi. One, two, and three. I bought Raging Blast 2. I bought Xenoverse. I bought Xenoverse 2. But I'm just a hater. And I guess that's all I ever will be, right? This video ended up more serious than I expected it to be, to be honest. I didn't want to have to go this fucking deep in this shit. But I feel like if I don't fucking air my shit out now, I'm going to regret not doing it. So, this is happening. Too bad. <sighs> you know who it is. I'm out.